And that's something that has come into focus for me since eating this way. The difference back then was that I couldn't do it. It's coming up on 15 months for me eating an only meat-based diet. And in this video, I wanted to share one of the biggest changes I've experienced in that time. And to help explain the change that I've experienced, I'm going to enlist the help of Dr. Jordan Peterson, who can explain this much more eloquently than I can. In June 2022, I was not a pretty picture. I had inflammation everywhere. I had back pain. I had arthritis. I was overweight. I was drinking heavily and eating whatever junk I could get my hands on. And still, I was feeling hungry all the time. And it all finally came to a head that month when I visited the doctor and he gave me the bad news. My eating and drinking had to stop or I was in big trouble. And I'd kind of known this for a long time, but hearing it from the doctor made it very sudden and very real and very urgent. So I started a keto diet focused on giving myself back self-control, and that quickly morphed into a meat-only diet. Now, meat-only for me is really an animal-based diet, consisting of meat and eggs. And that's what I've eaten over the last 15 months. Usually one meal a day, but often going to two meals a day so that I can eat out at a restaurant for social events. And I no longer have inflammation. I no longer have back pain or arthritis. And I've lost fat and replaced it with muscle. But there's something else that has changed. And to give an introductory explanation, here's Dr. Jordan Peterson. We're built to walk uphill. And when you reach the pinnacle of the hill, you want to stop and appreciate the vision, but the next thing you want is a higher hill in the distance because it's the uphill climb that, it's, it's from the uphill climb that we derive our value, and I mean this technically. So almost all the positive emotion we feel, especially the, 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 the emotion that fills us with enthusiasm, and that's to be filled with the Spirit of God, by the way, because that's what enthusiasm means, that's experienced in relationship to a goal. And so in some sense, and this is part of the religious enterprise, you want a goal that you can never attain, right? So you can always move closer to the goal that recedes as you move towards it. You think, well, that's frustrating. It's like Sisyphus pushing the rock uphill. But it's not because as you pursue that goal, you put yourself together and your life does get better and richer and more abundant. And that's why the highest levels of virtue and goal are in some sense transcendent. You want them to be above everything you're doing so you can continually move towards something that's more sublime and better. That's what you are. You're, you're here to live, not to, not to sleep. And the problem with the vision of Mai Tais on the beach is that, well, first of all, that's, an that's a vision of, of drug-induced unconsciousness. Second, it's only going to work for about a week. Third, you're going to be a laughing stock in a month and depressed and aimless and and goalless it's no that's not it's it's you want a horizon of ever expanding possibility as dr peterson explains as humans we are designed to walk uphill always continuing to push forward once you satisfy your goals now it's what's the next goal and that's something that has really come into focus for me since eating this way now don't get me wrong even when I was inflamed and feeling sick, I was always looking towards the future. Always looked at my goals, always wanting to push forward, always wanting to push uphill. The difference back then was that I couldn't do it for a number of reasons. First, I had little motivation. Second, things weren't clear. I wasn't able to think about this stuff clearly and I just didn't have the energy. Maybe I could take a few steps towards a journey but I could never maintain those steps, never maintain the momentum. I had goals, but it was always easier to put them off. It ended up being good enough just to think about those goals and consider how one day I might do something. I'll just play the computer game right now and I'll think about what my next action is going to be while I'm doing that. And nothing ever happened. I never moved forward, never made any progress up the hill. And while Playing the computer game or watching the TV feels great in the moment. Never pushing forward does a lot of damage to your confidence and self-esteem, which eats away at you over time. But there's something about a carnivore diet or a meat-based diet that changes everything. When you're not eating the processed foods, when you're not drinking the alcohol, 
When you're nourishing your body with a proper human diet, your focus sharpens and you experience a change in the way you look at your goals. Now I want to push uphill. I no longer want to put things off. I no longer want to wait. My body and my mind is literally compelling me up the hill to keep pushing. So even if you're not worried about weight loss or any of the other benefits you can get from the carnivore diet, a meat-based diet may be the answer to help you push forward and help you enjoy the process of pushing towards the goals that you want to achieve. Well, I've only been eating meat for beef, fundamentally, for almost five years now. I never imagined in my wildest dreams, number one, that you could just live on meat, and number two, that it would have such a salutary effect. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.